Hi guys, today I'm gonna help you open up to manifestation by giving you a sign that proves you can manifest. Because some of you have told me you need to prove it to yourself, this video is for you. Even if you're new to manifestation, I am going to activate a part of your brain that attracts what you desire, and I'll share a specific sign so you're gonna have proof. This is based on science, it's not just my idea. So let me first introduce myself. I'm Kate Wilder and I help people manifest their dreams. I'm sharing tools and techniques that have worked for me and I post videos every week. If you wouldn't mind right now, hit that like button before we forget. Here's your sign for this week. You're going to see yellow flowers. It could be one yellow flower or many yellow flowers. Even if you click away right now, you'll still have this sign because I've already activated it for you. You might see yellow flowers outdoors. You might see them in a picture, in a video, on jewelry. If you notice yellow flowers, just smile and enjoy the sign. Even if you're skeptical, you'll start noticing them. Why did I choose this instead of a pile of money, a new car, or a dream home? Because you don't have any resistance to yellow flowers. There's no strong emotions necessarily or fears attached to them. And you don't have a lifetime of beliefs about yellow flowers, so it's easy for your mind to accept them as evidence once you decide, I'm gonna see yellow flowers this week, and then you do. So we all have belief systems that started by the age of seven, which shaped how we see what we can manifest. When you try to manifest something meaningful, old limiting beliefs often get in the way, even if we don't want them to, right? So you might wonder, how did I activate this? And what does it have to do with manifesting your desires today? Let me just explain quickly. It might sound magical, but it's based on psychology and scientific research. Your mind has been primed to see yellow flowers by a part of your brain called the reticular activating system. I won't get deep into it here, but I have other videos on this. It's the secret to manifesting because it controls what we subconsciously focus on by activating a certain thing. You'll start to notice naturally and you're gonna find those yellow flowers. Now let me explain how this helps you manifest what you want in life and why proving this to yourself is important. Because when you try to manifest money or something that's really important to you, you might face doubts of resistance. But because there's no big attachment to yellow flowers, your subconscious will easily accept them when they appear. Even if they appear in the background of a movie set you're watching, something you normally wouldn't notice, you're going to notice. And you're gonna stop and think, oh hey, I'm seeing yellow flowers, just like she said. The point is to prove that you can prime your mind to focus on what you want and begin to notice signs that it's starting to happen. It's like when you decide on a car you wanna buy and suddenly that make and model and color shows up everywhere. Have you ever experienced this? You decided what you want and now it's showing up. It's easier to manifest something when you don't have conflicting feelings about it. So when you're either okay either way, whether you get something or not, that's what it means to let go of attachment to the outcome. And that's why you'll be looking for yellow flowers this week. So when it comes to manifesting a million dollars, doubts can creep in whether it's about to happen, whether it will happen, whether you deserve it, or if you're talented enough to create that level of money. Whereas yellow flowers don't carry the same emotional charge. So by noticing them, over the next week or two, you prove to yourself that you can put a thought in your brain and you can manifest it in the outer world. This is a small thing, but it's the first step to manifesting bigger things. Yellow flowers don't make you feel desperate or lacking. They're neutral. So your mind accepts them without questioning your worth. This activation will show you that you can be neutral and you can let go of attachment by simply noticing yellow flowers. When you see them, acknowledge that you did. You paid attention to the signs. You're proving to yourself that you can manifest. Belief is often the biggest block to manifestation or creating your dream. And by taking this small step, you own your own power. If you can notice yellow flowers after activating this thought, it means you can also activate what you truly desire. Then watch for signs that it's already happening. It's tough not to care whether something you want will manifest, but you don't need to be perfect either. You just need to find a balance between how much you want something and letting it go. It takes a little practice, but you can do it. This small step will help you. Becoming neutral about something that's significant to you can take time, whether it's a minute, 
a day, a week, or longer. It depends on a few factors, including things aligning in your favor and getting out of your own way. From my own manifesting practice, I've learned that the quicker I let go and get neutral, the faster things happen in my life. I can be my own worst block because old beliefs sometimes show up and demand my attention, and my reticular activating system forces me to focus. So why not focus on what we want instead of what we don't want? This goes into the law of attraction in thinking about those concepts. As you go about your week, I'm sure you'll have a little laugh when you spot yellow flowers. It's especially fun if they show up on your desk as a gift, of course. That would be delightful. <laughs> but it's equally delightful to see them in that background of a TV show you're watching that they might be blurred out. You would not have noticed them otherwise. So reticular activating system, we love you. Yay. I am truly invested in helping you manifest what you want, which is why I started this channel. I'd like to help you uncover any beliefs that might be limiting your own success. And I have something for you if you download my free belief system buster checklist and do subscribe to the Manifesting Mastery newsletter called Shift Your Vibe that will help you get into higher emotional frequencies. Those links are all in the description. But tell me in the comment today where you're watching from and let me know that you saw yellow flowers in the next week or two. Hit the like button to help YouTube promote my channel. And I love you guys. Don't forget to watch the next video and check out my brand new 40 day prosperity plan playlist that's in process now. If you are in need of creating more money in your life, go look for yellow flowers and let me know where they show up and happy manifesting to you, my friend. Have a beautiful day.